This gospel is all about transformation. When he says, how many of you say I'm new or I'm changed or I'm different? Uh, I can show it to you. I don't have to just quote it. You can look in Galatians if you want to. Galatians, you can look there. We'll scroll the whole way back. It's only six chapters. The end of the chapter, chapter six, Paul said, but I, he said, but God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world, watch this, whom the world, shoo, whom the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For in Christ Jesus, it's neither circumcision nor uncircumcision that avails anything but a new creation. He did something. So the whole purpose of Jesus is putting off the old and putting on the new, the old man dying and the new man living. When he died, we died. Remember last night we talked about he took it away? He took it away. You can't live in yesterday. You can't live in the past. You have to live in your present and the future. It's actually, if I look at scripture correctly, if I'm seeing it right, it's illegal to live in your past like your past isn't here. He threw it in a sea of forgetfulness. How many people would say, if they were honest, would say that they've gone through seasons of struggling with their past. They went through seasons of just relating to what was or who didn't say what right or who didn't treat you right or what you were lacking. Who could, who could honestly admit and say, I feel like the past has had too loud of a voice in my life at times. I'm here to tell you that the past has nothing to do with who you truly are. It, it, it's, it's what Christ accomplished and who God sees you to be and who you receive yourself to be through his shed blood. So once you put off the old, you've got to put on the new. Watch, once you put on the new, you're not the old. That's, that's not so deep, but it's profound. So you look in a mirror, like we said last night, and you see yourself for who he created you to be. You see yourself for who he paid for you to be. And you actually release faith and you believe the gospel and you're saved by grace through faith. You see how it works? So you're a work of God. There's no boasting in men that if a man has anything, it's only because it's been given by God. Isn't that amazing? So I want you to all understand that. I want to talk about something this morning, but new creation is huge. So I'm blessed when, when pastors say, and when Jason saying, listen, man, people are saying I'm different. Something clicked. I'm new. This is the whole goal. The whole the go goal of the gospel is making you brand new. I had fun with you all last night when I shared the testimony of my wife. And I said, Jesus said to her in the bathroom, that's not the man you married. I made him a brand new man. That's the goal. Amen. Amen.